All right, we're going to talk about bad applications. Um, what I mean about bad applications are applications that don't exit cleanly when you log out of a system. Um, this seems to be a problem with some applications um, that basically don't understand when a user logs out. They'll keep running in the background. After a while, this can get really kind of tedious when you're a sysadmin looking for certain processes and you're seeing stuff from weeks or months even ago. Um, that could still be hanging around in your process list. Um, we want to keep that nice and tidy. Um, another really, really important reason for getting rid of these stale processes is that can obviously take up resources on your server. Um, in an LTSP environment, this is really kind of exponentially important. Um, so we're going to talk about how to do this. I'm going to log in real quick. There's a certain program um, that was written that is called the GNOME Watchdog. Uh, what this program does is whenever a client logs in through LTSP, or GNOME rather, um, with LTSP it's basically the same deal, um, it starts the GNOME Watchdog process for that user. Um, when the user logs out, and more specifically when the GNOME panel exits, um, the GNOME Watchdog process sees this and it'll search for any remaining processes from that user and if they don't cleanly exit within a certain amount of time it'll basically kill them um, and it will report all this stuff in the syslog facilities um, so you can take a look at what's being killed um, what's not exiting cleanly and stuff like that so um, that's even a benefit if you uh, care to report some of these applications uh, to the upstream developers and let them know hey you know we're we're logging out and we're still seeing your programs running for some reason. It's not detecting these signals properly or what. Um, you might want to try and take a look at that. So let's take a look at our terminal. Because as you know, the terminal is the best way to do things, in my opinion. So anyway, we're going to uh, download the GNOME Watchdog package. There's no official GNOME Watchdog package. I have this up on my uh, web server for people to download. Um, let's just get that real quick with wget from the command line. I'm actually uploading a previous video that I just did to YouTube, so we're we've got a little bit of lag here. It's a very small package though. It's one of the beautiful things about Linux. You can do a lot with a little bit of code. So here's our GNOME Watchdog package right here that we just downloaded. Um, this is the latest package as far as I know. Um, basically the next thing that we need to do is install um, the GTK dialog package from the Ubuntu repositories. This is required for GNOME Watchdog to run. So we're going to install that. So now that we have GTK dialog installed, we're going to basically dpackage dash i GNOME Watchdog package. Whoops, we forgot the sudo. And there we go. Um, there's a couple other things that we want to go over. If you're running an AMD 64 uh, based installation on your server, um, you need to basically modify this line here with force architecture. Basically that's going to install even though this is an i386 package um, onto your server if it's an AMD 64 install. Um, everything works exactly the same so you don't have to worry about anything as far as that goes. At least as far as I know. Um, if anyone else knows otherwise, then leave a comment. So, a um, couple other things that we want to go over. Um, if for some reason the GNOME panel itself doesn't exit cleanly uh, after a user logs out, the GNOME watchdog process isn't going to do anything because that's the process that it basically monitors to see when a user logs out. Um, so, like I said, if it, that doesn't exit cleanly, um, we need to put a little bit of a safeguard in place for the next time the user logs in. And to do that, all we have to do is file. Okay. So having that file is going to tell GNOME Watchdog, hey, if a user is logging in 
and it looks like they're already logged in from the GNOME panel process still running from their previous login, um, then this is going to present a dialog box for that second login saying, hey, there's another process going on here. Do you want to kill all of the other processes? Um, and the user basically has a choice of whether to kill those processes or not. Um, so that's a good safeguard. The last thing that I want to go over is just the readme file. Um, this basically gives us a little bit better of a description of what happens with this package. Um, I installed this on all of my LTSP servers that I administrate. I highly, highly recommend it to anybody. Um, that runs LTSP servers. It keeps a very, very clean process list. Um, it keeps it clean for for very good reason. Um, like I said, it's going to keep your resources to the minimum um, when users are logging out, logging in, doing their work, um, and it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier for you to administrate and look for processes that you're looking for and not see a bunch of stale processes. So with that, I will leave you to your LTSP installs to install GNOME Watchdog. Happy LTSPing!